<laughs> What's up, fellas? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's your girl, Emma. It's been a little while. It's been a little while. Um, as I feel like I've done multiple times over the last year, um, I'm gonna just do a little bit of an update video because I know I haven't been the most consistent on this platform. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you're more up to date with like what my life is like these days, but I haven't been as active on YouTube and I need to be better at that, but um, I just wanted to come on here and kind of give you guys a little bit of a life update. So if you guys can tell, um, I'm in a different setting now <laughs> and that is because I moved. Um, yes, you may be like, Emma moved again for the 20th time over the last five years. Yes, I did. Um, I moved somewhere else in Portland, so I didn't move cities. <laughs> I moved into a house with my friends Carissa, Jenny, and Hannah. So once again, I have roommates, which is a little bit different because I was living in a studio apartment in downtown before. But I'm really liking living here. It is different, again, to be living with roommates. I kind of forgot what it was like, even though it's only been um, a little while since I've lived with a roommate. But... I do really like it and it's nice to have the company of my friends around and yeah, eventually they'll be on the YouTube channel, but obviously I haven't been filming that much, so. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really liking that so far. So that happened back in December, which is basically why I cut Vlogmas a bit early because I don't think I realized how much stuff I had to move. Um, and it was basically impossible for me to get any work done over the days that I was moving, so. My apologies for cutting Vlogmas a little bit short, but I did love like just daily vlogging in December and I want to get back to like doing that, especially now that I'm in a better routine and I'm like settled into my new place and everything. Um, but yeah, so I moved. <laughs> I have also started season two of Convos Over Cold Brew, which is my podcast. And I put a lot of my effort into the podcast over the past six months since I started it back in like May and that's because I really really love talking to people and it's kind of been my alternative to YouTube I would say. I do, I interview like a lot of people in the running world or like the endurance sport world or just people who inspire me day to day like I had Ryan Trahan who you guys I'm sure are familiar with who used to be a running YouTuber now he has like 2.2 million subscribers on YouTube. So just people that inspire me in my day to day life on that platform and I've been loving it and I know you guys have too but that has taken up a lot of my energy over this last year and I really really love doing it so hopefully you guys have checked it out. If not, go check it out if you're interested in like running and endurance sports. There's some good combos over there. And a lot of big things coming for season two this year. I'm excited, so. Another big announcement that I did not tease at all over the past year that I've been working on for a really long time is I launched like a food brand and it's called Crazed Foods. And our first product is a box of bars. It's peanut butter coffee flavored. It has 16 grams of protein, 55 milligrams of caffeine, and they are so good, guys. I'm not just saying that because I obviously am biased, but they are actually delicious. A lot of people have tried them, and in my personal life, like people that are honest with me, they have said that they love them. So if you guys haven't given them a try, they're available on Amazon, which makes it really easy for most people to be able to get them. Yeah, we, we've sold out a couple times, but I'm just glad that you guys are loving it. And we have a lot more products coming in the future, but this is the first one that we're starting off with and I'm very proud of it. So hopefully you guys have tried it out. Um, but yeah, I didn't tease that at all. I don't know why I think I was just like, I don't, I don't know what I was doing. But so far so good on that and that's something I've been working hard on over the last year. So, okay, in terms of content for the YouTube channel, one of the reasons that I kind of put it on the back burner over this last year is because I was just feeling in like a creative rut in terms of YouTube. Like as much as I love filming myself, I feel like I get bored of filming myself and I just don't find myself to be that exciting. <laughs> Um, it's a lot easier when you have like other people around to film with because you can like bounce ideas off of each other But when it's just like me myself and I it's like how much can I talk to the camera? <laughs> and is this even interesting to people but for this year? I'm really excited to get things like going again and hopefully the COVID situation will be getting better and better as people keep getting their vaccines, but Hopefully there's like some track meets that are gonna happen. Stay tuned because I have some meets on the schedule that obviously taking COVID very seriously and getting COVID tests and everything um, when going to these meets, but I'm really excited to get that content back for you guys because obviously back in 2019, I was shooting at meets all the time and I know you guys love that. So I'm really excited to be back like in the media side of it and just filming my friends. 
And this is such a big year, hopefully with the Tokyo Olympics happening, I'm sure there's gonna be so many fast times that are gonna be run, so I'm excited to get some good interviews, maybe even race footage too, we'll see what I'm able to get for you guys, but that is definitely something I'm going to be focusing on this year, hopefully, as long as everything goes smoothly. Okay, and then kind of going back to my podcast, so I had a podcast episode with Alexi Papas a couple weeks ago, and I'm sure you guys know of her, she just came out with her book Bravey, and she was also a... She was a grad student at the University of Oregon. We never crossed over, like we were never on the same team, but I've like run with her before and we've met each other a couple times, but we had a really good podcast episode and it honestly really opened my perspective, especially on like the mental health side of running and kind of how to approach it. Not only the episode did that, but I also fully read her book after I finished recording with her because I was just like very interested and I was going to read the book anyways, but that episode really sparked my interest. So I read the entire book and it was actually incredible and I think it gives a lot of insight into how to navigate mental health and running and just like in life or in sports, which I feel like is just... It's talked about, but no one really knows how to address it, and even on my channel, it's like I've talked about mental health, I've talked about body image struggles and everything, but that's like the extent that I've talked about it, I guess. I feel like I haven't really given many tips on how to kind of execute getting better from these situations. Like, I've talked about my experience with body image, I just feel like I've lacked the ability to like give tips to kind of help overcome it, and what Alexi's book does really well is talking about how to navigate mental health and what to do in the situation. And obviously every situation is different, but her perspective is to treat like a mental health injury as you would a physical injury. And honestly, it changed my outlook on how to better my mental health. So for example, you get a strain in your hip. You would go, you would do everything in your power at least me, over the like the years I was running, I would go to PT, I would see chiropractor, I would like take time off running, I would do thing, do anything basically to help this injury. But one thing I never addressed was the mental side of it. You guys know I've, especially in college, I dealt with a lot of body image issues and I never like treated it. I had this mentality that I could overcome these things by myself and <laughs> that I just like need to try harder and all of this stuff and Alexi's book honestly put it into really good perspective that like you don't need to do everything by yourself and over the last five years like getting back into the endurance sport world I think for me it's really important to kind of navigate that with the help of someone else because it's something I've neglected doing over the last like five years at least or just like even since I started college I don't think I've ever been mentally like 100% on my game and I never, I've never addressed it. I've never addressed it. I've just had this mentality like I can do it. I I can do this by myself. I can navigate this myself. Um, and I feel like now moving forward as I get back into like the triathlon world and back into running and stuff, I have come to the realization that it would be my best interest to seek some help with this mentally. And again, it's something that I neglected for so many years. I should have done this years ago, but better late than never. And now I'm going to see a sports psychologist and maybe more people um, just to kind of help navigate at this point in my life. And I've been to a couple over the years, just like one-off appointments, but now I'm making a priority to address it because I just, no, it's going to be so powerful, especially for my future in the endurance sport world. And yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk about like my <laughs> epiphany I had while reading Alexi's book. And honestly, the reason that I'm sharing is because I feel like a lot of people would benefit from reading Alexi's book just because it's a different approach to mental health than anything I've ever seen. And it was very applicable to my life as an athlete. And even when I was talking to Alexi, she's like, yeah, honestly, this, this book is like made for people in your situation or people of your age. Um, and I could really feel that as I was reading the pages, so I really encourage you guys to read the book and I know it's really helped me and changed my perspective on addressing mental health, especially when it comes to sports. Yeah, so the point of this video was just kind of like an update video on what my thoughts have kind of been over the last couple months and after 2020, which was kind of a, a year where I feel like I didn't really get that much done <laughs> in terms of a lot of like things I wanted to do. Obviously a lot of people felt the same way, but 
2021 is going to be the year I work on myself in all areas of my life. So yeah, I'm excited to bring more content for you guys in all areas, Instagram, podcast, YouTube. And I appreciate you all for following along and supporting me along the way because life after college has not been easy. Um, it has been quite a roller coaster, but the best thing about YouTube is kind of looking back over the last couple years. First, like just selfishly for myself, being able to kind of see the evolution of that is Emma um, post college and even in college too, like that last year. So I know a lot of you guys are either graduating college or you're in college, you're going into college, and I honestly just like documenting on this channel to give some insight into what post-college life is like for me. Um, there are many ups and downs along the way, and I'm glad that people even want to follow along this journey. It's kind of crazy to me, like, just thinking back to when I started my YouTube channel, I just, I cannot believe that this many people <laughs> have, like, followed me along the way. I genuinely appreciate every single one of you guys for your support because you really helped me navigate the post-college years <laughs> and there's much more to come. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. More to come in the future. Make sure to follow me on my Instagrams, One Craze Foodie, and my personal Emma Abrahamson. Go check out the podcast, the bars. Everything's linked in the description and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, fellas.